right that different types of data types by the way first type of data type is primitive data types and before uh, even going to primitive data types let's discuss something what do you think is the value uh, what do you think the value will be stored in this identifier okay let's say now if i'm going to write down system dot debug what do you think is the output will be the output garbage value do you say garbage value raise your hands do you say garbage value raise your hands garbage value okay do you say zero raise your hands those are confused raise your hands compile time error so you are, you you are absolutely right uh, because in java if uh, we do not define any value then there is a compile time error so it varies from programming language to programming language in c it is garbage value in some languages it is zero in some languages it gives an error in java as well if you declare it as an instance variable it will be zero right so let's talk about it what it will be in apex if you will not initialize a variable with any of the value the default value will be always nothing else no matter what the data type is it will always have a null value right it will always have a null value when it comes to uh, variables in apex now let's go to primitive data types what do you think is a primitive data type the data types which are already given by the programming language uh, are like other other data types that we call as primitive data types right so there are different types of primitive data types in here let's talk about them one by one let me go to the developer console okay so number one is integer right Number one data type, number one primitive data type is integer data type, and let's talk about what we have got in integer data type. So integer data type is again divided into two types. One is integer, and another one is long, right? And uh, whenever we want to store a numeric type of value, we store integer data type. We use integer data type, and uh, when the value is a bit longer, then we use long, and when it is a little short, uh, not a little short, but yeah, I mean, if it is in the range of integer. then we can use integer only uh, but the the point to notice over here is that there are no decimal place values that can be there in an integer value or in an integer data type is it clear over here it goes as integer data type then comes declaring a variable how you declare a variable this is how you declare a variable right how you assign a value like this very easy right very simple declaring and assigning value and variable together integer a1 is equals to 50 that's it so in this integer is a a1 is this is that's it let's talk about long if you want to uh, i mean store uh, like store a value which is which is uh, which cannot be stored into integer and let's talk about what is the range of integer it is minus 2174836484 And two plus two one seven four eight three six four seven. That's what it is. I mean that's sufficient most of the times. But yeah, still, if you want to store a bigger information or longer value, then use long instead of integer. Here it is. Uh, how to declare a long data type? Long L one. How to assign a value? L one is equal to five thousand. Uh, declaring and assigning together L two is equal to five thousand. And then this. Long L three is equal to. Two one seven four eight uh, three six four eight, and it is saying will give compile time error. Why? Okay, so listen to this very carefully. 
like whenever you write a numeric value into an apex class or into an apex program it is by default considered as integer and if it is out of the range of integer then you need to specify l in order to tell the compiler that it is a long value not an integer one so the range of the integer is 21474836 47 right but over here it is 48 hence it will give a compile time error because it uh, the compiler will consider uh, it as an integer and when it will consider it as an integer uh, it will say that it is out of the range so let's remove this comment illegal integer right and duplicate also it is declaring as but the most important thing that to notice over here is illegal integer because it is out of the range of the integer and in order to i mean make the values which are out of the range of the integer work what do we, what do we need to do declare it with l right at the end to specify or to mention or to tell the compiler that it is a long value not an integer one clear next uh, l4 i mean there is no difference you can use a small l or you can use a capital l both of them will work 